We don't have to invent uh, an event or or invent an attraction, or, you know, to this area because we have the natural resources that people are interested in. Uh, people from Chicago, from St. Louis, from Des Moines, from you know, from wherever. We're proud that the, we've been able to keep this a free event. Uh, some of the other uh, Eagle Watches up and down the river uh, have become a, a charge uh, thing. And, and uh, really, with the natural resources and trying to educate and uh, do what we do, uh, it, it's important that we keep it free. So much of what we hear, hear about the environment uh, through the news media and things like that today, it, it, there's a lot of negative negativity associated with our human habits. The success of the bald eagles and their comeback is a human success story as well right. as a species right. success story. And that's one of the things that we're trying to move the whole Bald Eagle Appreciation Day forward. Uh, several years ago when it, uh, we had an extremely warm uh, Eagle Days, we decided that uh, maybe we should have some other things going on just in case the Eagles didn't uh, show up in great numbers. We have a, a seminar series. And what we're trying to do with that is to show that we, we have had a success story with the Eagles, but there, there's still a lot of areas of concern in conservation. And this year we're going to be uh, having uh, Dr. Richard Anderson from Western Illinois University talk about the, the mussels in the river. Uh, a good number of the mussels, there's, there's uh, 39 different species of mussels uh, in the Mississippi River right around where we live here. A good number of those are endangered. And it's the same kind of story again that if we start looking at the kind of things that we can do to uh, cut down on some of the pollution problems going into the river that's affecting these mussels, uh, do some of the things to allow those mussels, because the mussels are a key indicator of, of water quality. As far as the schools go, uh, we invite all the schools, if they weren't able to come this year to uh, uh, Eagle Appreciation Days as a class, we uh, invite them for next year to remember it. It's always the third weekend of January, and uh, the student day is usually the Friday of Eagle Day's weekend. And uh, we just invite all the, all the teachers uh, to bring their kids and to learn about the natural resources.